My definition of self-sabotage is repressed or suppress needs or desires that our subconscious mind is trying to satisfy, albeit in a roundabout and covert way. So if we think of our coping strategies as a wall of protection, right? Self-sabotage is basically all those little cracks through which, through which your real desires and your real needs are leaking out. A good example that I can give you of what self-sabotage can look like is like, if as a little girl you dreamt of becoming a ballerina, right? But you grew up in an environment where your parents dismissed that mostly as a childhood dream and maybe even made it clear to you that in order to be considered successful or a person of value, you needed to become, say, I don't know, whatever, a lawyer like them, right? Which is <laughs> not like out of the realm of possibilities, right? So you take that belief as your own, you internalize that belief, and then you suppress your own desires to become a dancer so that you can get acceptance and connection and a sense of belonging with your family, which is a very you know, primal need. Then you get to college and you're starting to, studying to become a lawyer, but even though you're really, really smart, you tend to procrastinate, you do not study for your exams and end up failing out of law school, right? So the part of you that is still trying to steer you towards your true desire of becoming a dancer is competing with the part of you that wants the acceptance and connection from your family, which in this case would equate you becoming a lawyer, right? So can you share any examples of self-sabotage playing out in your life?